Hello everyone, my name is Peter, and today we're going to be creating an ice cream creator in Scratch. Before we get started, here's how it works. First, we have our stage with the ice cream on it, and a whole bunch of buttons to the sides. So these buttons are going to be controlling the different types of toppings, ice cream, and the cone of our ice cream. So we have a whole bunch of different toppings here, and a whole bunch of ice cream flavors, as well as different types of cones. And also, if you click the background, it can change color into different backgrounds. Now, let's get into how this actually works. First, let's talk about each of the sprites. So we have the toppings, the ice cream, the ice cream cone, and all the buttons that will be controlling the variation of each of these. So, before we actually talk about how, uh, how to actually use the arrows to go back and forth. I'll just go through the different costumes that we used in order to create this project. Starting with the cone, you can see we have three costumes for the cone. Each, or, uh, each are different and we created them just by making some shapes and putting them together so that they resembled something that looks like an ice cream, something that looks like it could hold ice cream. Next was the actual ice cream. This is pretty simple. We used a couple circles and just colored it different colors for strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Finally, the toppings. We first start out with no toppings, then we get sprinkles, some chocolate, and finally a cherry. For each of these cones, we just made a simple triangle shape and labeled it corresponding to whichever part of the ice cream it's actually going to be controlling. So there's one for the cone one for the ice cream, and one for the toppings. So now I'm going to talk about how you can make this project and how the code works. First, we're going to start with the arrows. So each, so the code in each of these arrows is pretty similar, so I'll just go through the one that will control the costumes for the cone. So basically, when this sprite is clicked, this block right here, uh, it's going to broadcast this message called cone next. So what broadcast does is it takes a message that this sprite, this cone sprite is sending out and it sends it to all the sprites in this project. Now you might be wondering if all the sprites are getting it, then how do you know it's for the cone? Well, how we do that is when we go into our cone sprite, we're basically asking whenever the cone receives this message, then it's going to switch its costume. So basically, the cone is going to wait for this specific message, and that's how we get the message to the cone and the cone only. So back to this arrow controlling the cone's costume. Now, uh, we also have this visual effect. It's basically a loop where if the mouse is hovering over the, if the mouse is like hovering over the actual button, then it's gonna be slightly darkened. So you can see if we run this, then if you hover the mouse or if you hover your cursor right over it, it's gonna get slightly darker. All right, on to the left arrow. So uh, just previously, we talked about this right arrow, which switches the costume one direction, but now the left arrow will switch the costume in the other direction. Now how this works is very similar to the, um, how it's, it's very similar to how the right arrow works, but this time we broadcast a different message, cone previous. Now, when the cone sprite receives cone previous, it's going to switch its costume, but this time it's going to switch it to its previous costume instead of its next costume. We do this by switching to this costume number, then minus one. So basically, when we, when we want to go forward a costume, we use this next costume block, but when we got when we want to go back a costume, we use this switch costume to costume number minus one. Think of it almost as a previous costume block. Now that we know how these costumes are switched forward and backwards, we can use it along with the ice cream sprite and the topping sprite. So it's very similar in how it works in the right arrow, left arrow for each different sprite. So for the ice cream, it broadcasts a message called ice cream next. And when ice cream sprite receives this message, it's gonna switch to its next costume. Now the left arrow broadcasts ice cream previous, and when the ice cream receives this, 
it will switch to its previous costume. This is the same for the topping sprite. Toppings next will go to the next costume, and toppings previous will bring it to the previous costume. Now that you know how the broadcast and receive blocks work, you can make your own project or you can use this one for practice. Don't forget, you can always ask questions in the comments or you can rewatch the video if there was something you didn't understand. Thanks for watching. See you next time.